Greetings, fellow conquerors, and welcome back to Byzantium here in EU4, where we have a new vassal, Bulgaria, and the Ottomans have been soundly defeated, and we have reclaimed much of the uh, Eastern Roman Empire, as it were. Not in its full splendor, but at least some of the, uh, the opening stages of it. Let's see, the next military tech, we can get a dock, which uh, would increase our local sailors modifier, which... Um, you know, who cares? <laughs> We're still one boat over our force limit, so I am going to go ahead and delete um, one of our galleys. Um, though that that may be a foolish decision, but, I mean, I don't know. I think it'll be okay. And that'll give us some money back, I think. We could pick up the next military idea, but we do want to get tech aid as soon as possible. Um, the Ottomans, uh, I think, are accruing a tech penalty because... They, you know, they're starting to fall behind a little bit on, on admin tech, it looks like. Now, we could have humiliated the Ottomans in that war, but I think right now our primary focus is getting our land back, if that makes sense. Alright, we've uh, stopped improving relations with Hungary. Would they be interested in anything like an alliance? They would, actually. They'd be quite interested in an alliance. Um, since this is not the a war that they have started, I think we're going to, you know, go ahead and offer them the alliance. Alright, that gives us too many diplomatic relations, so, um, let's see. And it's mostly because of our, our royal marriage with Lithuania. And if it's, if it's our leader that needs to die, then that's going to be a while. It's going to be quite a few diplo points, so... Um, unfortunately, I think to save Diplo points, I am going to boost ability um, and then break the royal ties with Lithuania. Now, we do have a royal marriage with Serbia for the time being, so I don't know that they're going to be a good uh, you know, person to attack uh, for that reason. Now, if we look at uh, Venice, like, Austria is still friendly towards him, Serbia has war exhaustion, and uh, it looks like Hungary is not really going to be interested in that either. Uh, we will go ahead and take two more national unrest from the same event that we had to choose, like, last episode. Um, we'll pick up docks, since we got a little bit of a, uh, you know, a, a discount on it. Now, in the next war against the Ottomans, we are going to take um, a lot of Anatolia back, I think. And we're actually almost in a position where we could probably defeat them on our own. Um, which is pretty exciting to think about, honestly. Let's see, we could build a building. Do we want to build a building? I think so. Let's build a uh, church here in Thessaly. And I'm thinking about kicking the game speed up. I just want to get my bearings real quick before we do that. So, you know, we're thinking about it. We've got four out of four relations. I don't think Bulgaria is going to be a very aggressive vassal, if we're being 100% honest. So... Um, we may not keep them around for that long, and, uh, in and instead what they end up, what they will end up becoming for us is just a means of, um, getting some point, you know, getting, a uh, land for Diplo points instead of admin points, which is fine, um, because then we can, you know, vassalize Wallachia at a later date. I think our truce ended with somebody? I'm not sure. But let's see, we could, we could annex Bulgaria in 1498, so in six years. Now, I've kind of backed myself into a little bit of, of a position here where we can't really do anything. Uh, I do intend to build a spy network in Venice uh, to see if we can get more uh, Byzantine separatists to fire. Um, actually, doing the same in Genoa uh, might even be a better idea, so we're going to you know attempt to go for that, I think, once our diplomat gets back home. Excellent. Uh, the Ottoman Separatists are getting quite close to firing, so we're going to raise our army maintenance back to full. And uh, we're going to go park on the fort. Which means they probably won't pop on this province, of course, but... This would be cheesy, but I could, I could raise the development by one point to try to ensure that the uh, rebels pop here. Um, I don't think that's like a completely crazy idea, so um, I think I'll go ahead and spend the admin points since we're... Um, in such a good, like, administrative position, since we have it as our national focus and are getting, you know, so many admin points anyway. Uh, just saved from our awesome uh, Basilisa um, and the event that we got from her, which I think we still have. Yeah, still uh, until 1499, so... Um, of course, the rebels popped up in a different province. 
you know, go figure. We really don't want to cross the street to go fight them, but it's better than letting them run around freely, I guess. And that land morale is serving us pretty well, I think. Yeah, took significantly less, you know, fewer casualties, which is nice. Uh, we're gonna pick, go ahead and pick up tech eight. Get uh, infantry fire plus 0.25 and cavalry shock plus eight. So that's a huge tech uh, in terms of like what that actually does. And what I'm really excited about uh, to get in between the next idea group, I guess, would be to get uh, this land maintenance modifier minus 10%. Um, you know, just to help us buy more troops. Let's see. Um, I think. We want to pick up Admin Tech 8 as quickly as possible while we still have that 10% uh, reduction from that event. Uh, but then we could lower our mercenary maintenance lower, which would be crazy. <laughs> our truce with Bulgaria has ended, but that's okay because they love us, right? You guys love us? Yeah, they love us. Who knew? Now, if they fabricate a claim, I'll be more than happy to let them live. Um, however, they do also have cores on the Ottomans, so it might be worth waiting... Um, to let them live for a while and give them these two provinces back. Um, ooh, we get an excellent minister. Uh, love this event. So we can reap the administrative benefits, get one stability, 25 prestige, and four administrative power. Or we could reap the military benefits, get 10 army and navy tradition, and 100 mil power. Well, um, I almost always go with the administrative benefits because the point value offer is so much higher. Like, you get one stability, so that's like 100 uh, admin points, 25 prestige, which is invaluable, and then 40 flat admin. So, like, you basically get, like, 140 admin versus... Um, 100 mil power plus 10 tradition, which, you know, 10 tradition is okay, but it's not amazing. So we're going to reap the administrative benefits, get some points, get some stability. Pretty happy about that. Now, unfortunately, uh, one thing that might become a problem for us is that to actually convert some of these provinces, we're going to need a better um, conversion speed, and we actually do get that later on when we restore the Ecumenical Patriarch. So it may be a good idea for us to take Humanist as our second, uh, you know, idea group. Even though the cat, even though Deus vote would be good for us because we're Orthodox, at the same time, um, getting Humanist would allow us to deal with our provinces better, if that makes sense. Go ahead and build a church in Ikea to get 0.15 more ducats per month. Uh, we'll gain 50 diplomatic power from a Byzantine event, and we will pick up Admin Tech 8. And we can now build courthouses. Cool. Uh, oh, and more importantly, we can get the uh, active uniformity, which uh, raises our missionary strength plus one. Remember, uh, one thing about Tech 8 that's awesome, and, and I, I forget this from time to time too, um, is that once you hit Tech 8, you can get the active uniformity, which is awesome because it lets you, you know, get additional missionary strength with no penalty whatsoever. Which is just fantastic. Um... I think four cav is about where we want to be, and the rest of what we would want would either want to be artillery or infantry. Um, however, if we look at the you know current unit modifiers, I mean a cavalry is worth twice as much as an infantryman um, in terms of shock, but infantry also have .8 fire modifiers now. Um, so I think I think we are gonna expand the army by building more infantry. We'll just build three. I think that's perfectly acceptable to have you know that many infantry. Because um, artillery just doesn't really do that much for us at this point in the game, so. And we're making a nice profit of 6.5 ducats a month. Check that out. It's really good. Okay, we can only claim that a uh, Skopje would be a rifle part of our realm, but uh, Bulgaria still has a core on it. Bulgaria has a lot of cores, actually, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and kick things up to speed 5, uh, just to help move this along. And, and get us in the position we want to be in. Uh, do I want to take uh, Albania? Yeah, I think we do. Uh, we'll, we'll fabricate a claim on it. We may, we may take it in the war, we may not. Alright, let's get all of our troops together. And, and it's funny, because we might actually be in a position where we would be able to defeat the Ottomans on our own, but I think we're still going to call in um, Austria and uh, Serbia if we get the chance, since Austria just is not fighting like any wars, I've noticed. Um, I just noticed, though, our relations are under 100 with Austria, so uh, rather than building a spy network more in uh, the Ottomans, we're going to start improving relations with the Austrians again, just to make sure that they don't uh, you know, lose interest. It's really interesting that uh, Hungary still has his alliance with uh, Austria, even though he has uh, Matthias Hunyadi, and, and uh, has Caesar Hunyadi as his uh, you know, heir. The Empire runs on paper. Another 50 admin points. Nothing to sneeze at at all. 
We've gotten a lot of admin points from that, I think. You know, just that event firing. But we've also lost a lot of points from the uh, the negative event that fires. So make of that what you will. And yeah, I, I hate waiting until 1501 to, to get this truce you know get this truce over with. But you know, Austria wouldn't join us in a war. And uh, <clears throat> I think it's going to be important for us if we you know because we're we're still not strong enough to like just be going out and like fighting all the wars, doing all the things. However, beating Kandar uh, or Jandar, um, Karaman and Dulkadir may be well within our grasp. Uh, we have a choice between 78 ducats and 50 admin. We naturally you want to take the admin on that one. Um, later on, when points aren't as important, I would say, um, then that's a good time to take that event. Otherwise, yeah, just roll with a uh, roll with the points. Um, we are just overflowing with diplo power. Um, we will marry the uh, the hung. Not, yeah, the Hungarians. Sorry, I was thinking of the Bulgarians. Um, but yeah, we're just over. We are overflowing with diplo points, and so I think we're gonna get some production development done uh, in our current leader's lifespans. Um, Athens being a good province for this, I think. Um, I don't. Problem is, we don't really have a lot of great production provinces right now. We could do it in Athens. Uh, Huda Vandegar here is a good province once we actually uh, turn it into a state. Uh, but currently the autonomy would be way too high. But let's develop it anyway, because it is a uh, cloth province, and I think it gets converted to Greek automatically once we uh, take the restore the theme system event. So let's go ahead and develop this, like, three times, I think. It won't make us any money yet, but later on I think it'll be a really big boon. Uh, we're going to get nine peasants in Moria, which kind of sucks, but we're going to uh, turn the fort back on before we... Let this event fire. And we don't have to camp in the province, and it's a good idea that we don't, just because our troops aren't at full maintenance yet. And we'll just let this uh, happen. Our trader has died, and that's fine, because I think we're actually going to hire a uh, military advisor now uh, in his stead. And as well, I didn't realize our admin advisor had died, so uh, we'll be looking to replace him as well. Uh, we could get a plus two admin advisor. Don't really see the point of it. We need ducats more than we need points right now. Um, since we're so far ahead on uh, on tech. Ottomans have been caught building a spy network. You know, we expected this. Alright, peasants have fought, or uh, revolted. We're going to go ahead and uh, smash them. They have no general. Uh, this should be pretty, pretty brutal display of our armies here. Oh yeah, we're killing them 10 to 1. What a what a brilliant display by the Byzantine army. I think I think adopting our tactics, or adopting new tactics, was definitely the right move. Let's see, uh, we are definitely going to pick up the next, uh, you know, mercenary maintenance idea. And let's see how low our mercenary maintenance is now as a result of this. Uh, 0.45 per month, so they're actually, like, literally only twice as expensive as a, uh, normal infantry regiment, which is pretty impressive, in my opinion. Uh, the Bulgarians are up to 5,000 troops. They have full defensive ideas. Nice! It's really good, actually. Um, they also have the first step of religious ideas, so... They, uh, they got some Deus Volt going uh, against anyone that isn't their religion. So that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, yeah, we're stuck waiting for another four years until we can get something going here. Um, but this will be a pretty decisive war, I think. After the war, we're going to, I think, attempt to um, take over Wallachia. And then we'll probably look into taking the rest of the Balkans as well. Since our Serbian alliance, I don't know if that'll be as necessary now that we have a Hungarian alliance. But I want I want to wait and see who would join us in our war first. How do the Austrians feel about us? Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> the only thing they don't like is that we're heretics, but you know, we're not changing our religion. You know, this is the seat of the patriarchy and of the uh, you know, the Orthodox Church. And uh, we're not going to relinquish that title uh, for, you know, some pretender religion. See, we could build a manufactory uh, in Constantinople. This would get us 0.21 ducats per month, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, build that. Uh, our admiral has died, you know, unfortunate, but I'm not really devastated or anything. He actually did fight a couple naval battles, which is more than can be said for uh, a lot of naval leaders. We're going to go ahead and kick the uh, speed back up to 5. Let some time pass, and... Yeah, you know, I'm having a lot of fun with this campaign, if I'm being honest. Uh, oh, hey, our spy network 
is almost complete. And now, in Genoa, we should be able to support rebels. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there are any um, Byzantine separatists that we can make fire. Which is really unfortunate, but whatever. Um, we'll stop building the spy network, and I think we'll move to Venice instead, but... That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for joining me, my fellow Romans, as we attempt to restore the Empire. Next time, I foresee another war with the Ottoman Turks, and, you know, we'll be able to get closer to a lot of other nations and, you know, really start expanding like, you know, proper Romans should. Um, but anyway, thank you for joining me. I'll see you on the next one.